hello everyone welcome to solve this nice math olympiad algebra problem so here we have c over 6 equals to 6 over c multiplied by 6 over c so we solve this problem for the values of c so here first uh, you focus in the right hand side and you see here this 6 is multiplied by each other by two times so that uh, uh, when you multiply the numerator term with the numerator and denominator term with the denominator you will get here 6 times of 6 becomes here 36 and it is divided by c times of c equals to c square so it is in the left hand side we have c over 6 okay so further uh, you see here we need to cross multiply the terms and now we move this c square in the left hand side and we move this 6 to the right hand side so when you cross multiply the terms you will get here c multiplied by c square equals to 36 is multiplied by 6 okay so further you see that we have c times of c square equals to c cubed and when you multiply 6 times of 36, uh, you will get here 216. Okay. So uh, now further, uh, if we move uh, this 216 in the left hand side and we will write it as, uh, in other words, you write this 216 as 6 cubed. Okay. So we move the 6 cubed in the left hand side. So it will be written as C cubed minus 6 cubed equals to 0. So here you see that we have these two terms will become in cubic form. So that now we apply here the nice cubic formula. So you know about this formula. If we have A cubed minus B cubed, it is equals to A minus B times of A square plus AB plus B square. Okay. So this is the our cubic formula and now we need to substitute uh, the above values in this formula and you see here we have uh, here uh, if you focus on this equation we have our a is equals to c and b is equals to 6 so now we substitute the value of a and b in this nice formula so that after substituting these two values in this formula we will obtain its output in this form so we will obtain here a minus b and the value of a is c minus the value of b is 6 into this is a square the value of a is c it will become c square plus a b the value of a is c and the value of b is 6 plus b square the value of b is 6 square and this is equals to 0 okay so uh, after this step here we need uh, some simplifications so that we write it as c minus 6 into c square plus 6c plus this 6 square equals to 36 and this whole equals to 0 and now after this step uh, here we need to divide this equation into the two cases so that our first case is we take c minus 6 equals to 0 and the second case is we will take c square plus 6c plus 36 equals to 0. So from first case we easily get the value of c equals to 6 and similarly uh, in the second case you see here this is the quadratic equation and now here we need to solve this quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula so here first we write the coefficients of this equation so that its coefficients are capital a is equals to 1 capital b is equals to 6 and capital c is equals to 36 okay so here uh, we uh, state the quadratic formula as in this form so we have this is small c equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a 
okay so here we need to substitute the above values of a b and c in this formula uh, so we will write it as c is equals to minus b so we have the value of b is 6 plus minus square root of b square so b is 6 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 36 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 so further you see here we need some simplifications so that we write it as minus 6 plus minus square root of this is 6 square and 6 square equals to 36 minus 144 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 becomes 2 okay so for uh, after this we need more simplifications and we write it as minus 6 plus minus square root of this is 36 minus 144 uh, so 36 minus 144 equals to minus 108 and it is divided by 2 so after that we need to focus on this square root term so that here uh, we have uh, we have the negative sign becomes inside the square root so we write this expression as in this form minus 6 plus minus square root of 108 into square root of minus 1 it is divided by 2 okay so uh, further we have uh, we need to focus on this radical term so we write this radical term as minus 6 plus minus square root of uh, here uh, we write this 108 as 36 times of 3 okay we know that 36 times of 3 becomes 108 and here you have the square root of minus 1 it is equals to iota and it is divided by 2 okay so further we have c is equals to minus 6 plus minus here we just separate this square root on both of these terms and it will be written as a square root of 36 into square root of 3 into iota and it is divided by 2 so further we have c is equals to minus 6 plus minus we know that the square root of 36 becomes 6 into square root of 3 into iota and here we need to break this fraction and we write this 2 separately on both of these terms so you see here these two threes are 6 and we get c is equals to minus 3 plus minus this is also 2 3s are 6 and we have 3 into square root of 3 and iota these are the other two complex roots of the given equation and the given equation has one real root and it is c is equals to 6 okay so this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos